Okay, Robin, you ready? Absolutely! I'm looking forward to adding to our band of merry men. Yeah, the port jump team is really in demand. Seems like there's a big need to port Windows apps and games to non-Windows platforms using our crossover technology. <sighs> it's like a software renaissance. What can you tell me about porting? I know that if I were a superhero, my special skill would be teleporting. Oh, okay. I'll give you partial credit. That does seem pretty cool. Porting is fun. <laughs> Mavis and I visited eight ports of call in our last cruise. See? Yeah, no, it's not exactly what we had in mind. First, we need to look at the business case for software porting versus emulation or dual booting. Uh, what's happening here? Robin! I know that it involves one of my favorite things. Wham. In software engineering, porting is the process of adapting software for the purpose of achieving some form of execution in a computing environment that is different from the one that a given program meant for such execution was originally designed for, for example, a different CPU, operating system, or third-party library. Did you read that on Wikipedia? Why would someone want to port software? I waited years, years, for one of my favorite games to come out. But then I had to wait again because it wasn't available to play on Linux. Not cool, bro. <laughs> because it's about freedom, man. People should have the right to access software and play games on the computer platform of their choosing. <laughs> the blue shaded circle represents Windows users, pink is Linux, green is Mac, and gold is Chrome OS. Why not extend the application reach to all four? Um, yeah, that's pretty much exactly it. Well, I don't know much about porting software but I do wish they'd open a new port in Bermuda. They have the best cocktails. Tell me how wine is related to porting. I've heard of this wine you speak of. Not easy for Americans to comprehend. I can help. I know that wine is open source, making it possible to run Windows apps and games on other platforms at native speed. That's right. By leveraging our crossover technology, porting between platforms can be done at a fraction of the cost and time. Wait a second. If I buy a license of crossover, it supports open source and the wine project, but why pay for stuff you can get for free? Hey, isn't that your car getting towed outside? I'll feed the meter, I promise! Remember, gentle friends, sometimes a small investment will grow to pay big dividends. Tell me how using software on different platforms can benefit a company's bottom line. Having one code base to maintain is more efficient and less costly. This is the most difficult part of cross-platform development, maintaining multiple code forks. What did that young person just say about forks? Yeah, a uh, different kind of fork. I ran some of the numbers based on platform market share. The ROI looks much better when factoring in multiple platforms. Huh. Well, maybe you and I can get along. I will require my own office, a dedicated parking spot by the door, my own personal administrative assistant, a personal masseuse, mood stabilizers. Um, we share offices here. It's very collaborative. But ladders only have enough room for one person per rung. Well, Robin, we have some pretty good port jump candidates. How will we ever narrow down the field? The usual way? I thought I'd change things up a little bit this time and instead of throwing darts to determine the winner, wait for it, we throw forks. That's a great idea, Robin. See, that's why I keep you around. It's your out-of-the-box thinking. 